Well, finding support in our lives is just so important. And our next guest is all about empowering spouses of military members and first responders. Jenna Griffith is uh, on, she has a purpose and prosperity, excuse me, she is the purpose and prosperity expert and she is the author of Service and Soul. Welcome back, my yes, friend. I'm so thank happy you. to have you here. Thank you. I'm so happy to finally meet you. I've I heard know, a lot. I know. <laughs> you missed out on all the fun last time. Oh, I know. But <laughs> we're having fun today. Now, yes. I do want to start with um, this book and and your whole mission behind what you're doing because it's so personal to you mm -hmm. after your own journey yes my long healing journey definitely led this led me to this um, I was a former military spouse I'm a current first responder spouse and when my husband got into that first responder space with deployments and you know going around the world helping people I was like, I'm gonna have to start helping these spouses because they, they repurpose veterans. So he's among many veterans who go out and take the skill set that they had back then and use it to help people all over the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. You said something that I, I wrote down. I meet women all the time who struggle with the question, what about me, mm -hmm. but feel too guilty to ask it out loud. So let's talk about this book and what you want others to take away because I think that what about me is, is so important. It is because you think that you're selfish for wanting something mm -hmm. outside of that role. We're the silent soldiers is what I refer to us in the books. And there's just so much difference between selfishness and self ishness mm. and we really dive into putting the oxygen mask on first and knowing that you can have it all you can do both you can be within your identity but still be a great support system to your spouse mm. yes that balance and you actually ha use this one tool SWOT which really can be applied in any area yeah. of our lives strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats explain how it works how you break it down yeah SWOT analysis has been around a long time um, it's nothing that I created myself but it's a really great tool to just get a synopsis of whether it's a business you're running or a personal goal that you might have the strengths and weaknesses are that internal things that we need to look at mm -hmm. the opportunities and the threats are the external mm -hmm. and a SWOT is something that you'll do over and over again sometimes because things change mm -hmm. so business, for example, I would do a SWAT for Service and Soul, the book, mm -hmm. and then I would do a SWAT for Service and Soul, the company, mm -hmm. or the summits like mm -hmm. we have coming up. So it's a really great tool that you'll use over and over again. Mm -hmm. But it's really just breaking things down in a very simplistic way so that you can see what do I need to be looking out for? Mm -hmm. What are the strengths I need to pull on? Mm -hmm. What are the opportunities that I may be not tapping into like I should mm. and threats you know if you're on alert for the threats and you know what they are because you've taken the time to write that SWAT then you'll know when it comes up you say ah I know that's one of my threats mm -hmm. it's on my list and you're just more careful almost take the emotion out of it mm -hmm. it's just hey you know strengths weaknesses opportunities threats it's not so heavy on you know I'm so happy or I'm so sad mm -hmm. it's just the facts mm -hmm. laid out yeah. Now, you know, you mentioned your summit. Not only is this an amazing book, best-selling book, I should say, <laughs> and you didn't even think anyone would pick it up. Um, you've created a community, Facebook yeah. groups, summits, in-person meetings. Tell us about that. One's coming up in Clarksville. Yeah, we have an online Facebook community for our spouses, and we do two free coaching calls a month. I now have a team that is incredible. We have a surviving spouse who has finance background, so she can help our spouses with that. We've got an active duty spouse. We have a dual serving spouse. Um, and our active duty spouse is a licensed hypnotherapist, so she really helps a lot with the trauma coaching and mm -hmm. really bringing out those subconscious beliefs that we have. Mm -hmm. And um, we do that online for free. And then we have our Soul Summit. So Soul is an acronym that stands for source of unconditional love and our whole mission is to teach these women how to reconnect with themselves and reconnect with God so that they can have that fulfillment they can have that peace and they can have that joy mm -hmm. and our summits are just a full day of that we really go into some of the trauma in the beginning and then I walk the women through a eulogy exercise which sounds really morbid but it's actually a very powerful tool mm -hmm. and that helps me help them find mm -hmm. their purpose in less than 10 minutes. Wow, oh, so meaningful. You're thank just you. such a real human being, so easy to connect with, oh, doing such you. great things. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. All right, find the support that you need. Go to serviceandsoul.com.
www.soulconference.com and be sure to check out the Soul Conference.